Tonight, the Republican spectacle, the performance art, the attempt to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Tonight, that partisan undertaking failed in a theatrically embarrassing loss on the floor of the House. Now, I should underscore the fact that Secretary Mayorkas didn't actually do anything impeachment worthy here, certainly nothing criminal, but that was all kind of the point. By targeting Secretary Mayorkas, Republicans could look like they were being tough on the border without actually needing to do anything about the border at all. Just impeach Secretary Mayorkas and call it a day. But now that effort, that theater, has failed. And that is not good news for the Republican Party because when it comes to actual work on the border, the Republican Party is eating itself alive right now. I'm extremely disappointed in the very strange maneuvering by many on the right to, to, to torpedo uh, a potential border reform bill. Well, it's a crappy bill. I mean, it's terrible. The thing is terrible. The Senate's deal is trash. My views on this bill have not been ambiguous. At the last press conference we had here, I described it as, quote, a steaming pile of crap. You got to read the bill. I mean, don't be ignorant. Read the bill. The bill that Republicans are at odds over is a $118 billion immigration bill that was unveiled last week. But here's the thing about that bill. It was bipartisan, and it gave Republicans a whole bunch of what they claimed they wanted without having to give in on much of anything. Republicans all stood up and said that they wanted a bipartisan bill to fix the border. The border is a priority. The border is a crisis. We delivered a bipartisan bill to fix the border with the Republican senator appointed by the Republican caucus to cut the deal. And we that was Democratic Senator Chris Murphy, and he was the Democrat leading negotiations on this bill. But again, this was a bipartisan effort. The Republican senator and border hawk, I might add, who negotiated on behalf of Republicans was Senator James Lankford. Lankford is a co-author of this bill, and he is now actually under the bus, having been thrown there by his own party. Yesterday, former President Trump falsely claimed that he never endorsed Senator Lankford and proceeded to bash the senator, as Trump does. But Trump did actually, in fact, endorse Senator Lankford just two years ago. Donald Trump gave James Langford his complete and total endorsement and said that James Langford was, quote, strong on the border. So thanks for your service, James Langford. Anyway, this is an incredibly conservative bill. If Republicans were actually focused on the policy here, they would support it. Republicans say they want a, quote, unquote, secure border, but they do not. Not really. What they actually want is chaos. Because that's what Donald Trump says he wants. Joe Biden's approval ratings at 33 percent. Why would we do anything to try to help improve that dismal number with a border bill? Maybe they think that securing the border would help Biden politically, which of course it would. But I want to secure the border. That's what I told my voters I would do. The truth is the Republican Party has ceased to be a party of principles or even much of a party, really. The GOP's sole reason to exist in this moment appears to be the re-election of Donald Trump. And if you needed further proof of that, late tonight we got the news from the New York Times that the chairwoman of the Republican National Committee plans to step down. The Times reports that Ronna McDaniel Romney, Ronna McDaniel, plans to step down shortly after the South Carolina primary on February 24th, and that her exit comes after months of pressure and a campaign from Trump allied forces to unseat her. The Times reports that Trump is likely to back an election denier, a man named Michael Watley, to take her place. We are going to talk about the state of the Republican Party and Donald Trump and today's very big court ruling against him with Congressman Jamie Raskin right after the break. <laughs> 